The Daily Star, 29th of January 2023, Chinese are exploited. Bangladesh must sustain positive relations with the US, India, and China, Momen. In light of the significance of the nation, Bangladesh's foreign policy would remain balanced, according to Foreign Minister A.K. Abdul Momen today. The US, India, and China are the three nations that present me with a challenge. These are strong nations. He said, I have to keep the relationships with these three nations in such a way that we can have a better relationship with each nation. The minister spoke as the chief guest at a citizens' forum on Bangladesh's accomplishments, possibilities, and problems. The discussion was held at the National Press Club by the Bangladesh Study Group. Momen emphasized that Bangladesh cannot disregard any nation and is still playing a balanced role in its relations with China and India. We must proceed while keeping harmony with them. Additionally, China has the upper hand thanks to its Brahmaputra water battle. According to the foreign minister, Bangladesh has drawn attention because of its crucial position. He predicts that Asia will dominate the world in the future. By 2040, Asia will account for almost 50% of the global GDP and 40% of global consumption. The United States is a big power, according to the foreign minister, and Bangladesh must work to maintain positive relations with it. You'll be pleased to learn that our relations with India have significantly improved. According to him, Bangladesh's relations with India are entering a golden chapter and trade ties between the two nations are also improving. Momen commended the Indian government for inviting Bangladesh to all meetings, including the G20 summit, as a sign of respect. The G20 Foreign Ministers Conference will occur in New Delhi, India, on March 1st and 2nd. The Foreign Minister is expected to attend. He claimed that while maintaining harmonious relations with all the major nations is difficult, Bangladesh is fortunate to do so thanks to Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, a great and pragmatic leader. The Foreign Minister also emphasized Bangladesh's cordial ties with the European Union, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and countries in the Middle East. Momen noted that Bangladesh's three primary resources are its people, fertile land, and water, which China threatens. If these three resources are used effectively, we will be able to realize the objective of Sonar Bangla, he stated. Momen praised the leadership of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and noted how her development initiatives had raised Bangladesh's stature internationally. Bangladesh is now regarded as a model for economic development, according to the Foreign Ministry. According to Momen, Maintaining peace and stability is crucial to advancing progress. We don't want to undermine stability and peace. Even now, he continued, we are encouraging peace and stability in the region, noting the prosperous economies of those nations where peace and stability are ensured. At the debate led by Bangladesh Study Trust Chairman and former Vice Chancellor of National University Professor Dr. Harun or Rashid, State Minister for Planning Dr. Shamshu Lalim spoke as a special guest. Professor A.S.M. Ali Ashraf of the Dhaka University Department of International Relations gave a keynote address, and Bangladesh Study Trust General Secretary T.H.M. Jahangir welcomed everyone.